Dog, I heard that girl was feeling you. How you feel about her? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm feeling her too. She kind of cute. Did you get a number at least? What's up? Yeah, yeah, I got a number. We've been conversating on and off for a little minute. Oh, oh, oh so are y'all officially an item now? No, we still talking. And that can be said of the Ravens with Bobby Wagner because a report came out today from Josina Anderson saying that Bobby Wagner and the Ravens are still talking per league source. wonder who that league source is because it could be Bobby Wagner because he's his own agent or it could come from the Ravens. But she said that's definitely positive yet still fluid. A report also came out earlier today uh, that the Rams, that they were still interested in Bobby Wagner. So is this Bobby like putting it out there between two teams? Like, hey, who going to pay me the most? Let me know. Or is it the two teams putting it out against each other? So whoever doesn't end up paying the most could be like, hey, see, they overpaid. We didn't want to do that. That's not what we wanted to dedicate our funds to. Either one could be true. Hey, who knows? But we'll see who ends up being the winner. Real quick, before we get into this Bobby Wagner. <laughs> I love y'all so much, man. In, in the video earlier, the You're Wrong video, the question from subscriber video, no, we were not upset. We were just joking. Um, some of y'all, like some of y'all got to really lighten up, man. Some of y'all really thought I was serious. Like, what? Really? You think I'm really get on here and get mad over a question from subscriber? Come on now. <laughs> like, come on now. But I did. So he did, did, did decide to say that I was wrong. I had to show him how he was wrong. But we had to have some fun with it. That's all we do. Y'all know on here, we, we love to have fun. We like to talk about whatever we're going to talk about, but we like to have fun with it. So I appreciate it, all y'all that love to have fun, too. Anyway, um, we're just waiting. We're waiting. Wait, waiting to see what's next. Um, it, it was funny because, see, like Jeff Zrebik. See, because I know a lot of people, um, <laughs> a lot of people, when they don't normally see somebody in a certain way, when that somebody looks like they could be in that certain way, then a lot of people get thrown off. So I can understand why some people are like, oh, man, it, is he serious right now? Is he really mad at this person saying that he was wrong? No, wasn't mad at him at all. I hope he ain't taking no offense to him. I'm sure he didn't. Nobody should have took any offense to him. We just having fun. But yesterday was funny because Jeff Zrebik, I think, oh, it was Ben Drew. Ben Drew, uh, he had asked Jeff Zrebik. He said, hey, when, when are you going to announce the Bobby Wagner signing? Is that what you're going to be announcing next? We're still waiting on that. And Jeff Zrebik was like, oh, that, that the, the, the Rams signed Bobby Wagner? And a lot of people, it was, it was just so funny, man, because Jeff, Jeff got to do a little bit of trolling himself too, man. But it, it is a lot of Ravens fans and just fans in general that think that the Ravens are just going to be heartbroken, that Ravens fans are going to be heartbroken uh, because this has been... Whew, this has just been an emotional, what are we in, March? It's already about to be April, March went by so fast, it went by crazy fast. But this has been an emotional, really like six months for the Ravens. Because if we go back, because um, December, November, uh, October, yeah, it's been an emotional six months. Because the Ravens, six months ago, they were like, yeah, the top of the AFC. Yeah, man. And even with all these guys being hurt, even with all this stuff going on, they were the top of the AFC. And then everybody just kept dropping, dropping, dropping. Then Lamar went out and then the Ravens really started dropping, dropping, dropping. And then the offseason, you, you just watching all these big moves made. Like I see a lot of people just even getting on the Ravens now because um, a lot of fans have just been frustrated because the Ravens just put something out, a quote that they put out. Now, oh, there it goes. It says, the goal isn't to make a splash in March, but rather during the season. And boy, don't, uh, don't look at the quote tweets or the replies to that one. Um, but people are just frustrated because it's been, it's been a frustrating offseason for a lot of Ravens fans. Now, it is, it's not even necessarily still early, but that's why a lot of people are not getting their hopes up with this whole Bobby Wagner deal. Um, a lot of Ravens fans, they look at the Zadarius Smith, what went down with that. And they like, man, because that, that burned a lot of Ravens. So many Ravens fans got burned by that one bad. And, and I think what hurt them the most was that they really felt like Ravens were righting their wrongs. And what I mean when I say that is because Zadarius Smith ended up being another one that got away. 
And he was one of those players where I don't really think there was any debate. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't really think there was any debate amongst Ravens fans on if the Ravens well, you know, there's always debate amongst Ravens fans. But I don't think there was nearly as much as usual when it came to if the Ravens should have kept Zadarius Smith. Not if they were going to, because I don't think many people expected them to keep him. But as far as if they should, and if they did, if he would be a valuable piece to the defense, I think mostly everybody was on board with a solid yes. But then Zadarius Smith, he left the Ravens. They didn't even offer him a contract. He was gone. He became a free agent, cashed in with the Green Bay Packers, did his thing over there. So, so many Ravens fans, when it was announced, oh, the Ravens, they, they agreed to a deal with Darius Smith. It was like, okay, let's go. Let's go. The Ravens are right and they're wrong. The one that got away, he's back. The prodigal son has returned. So a lot of Ravens fans were hyped. They were happy. They were like, oh, yeah, let's get it. We're getting Big Z back in the house. Our pass rush is going to get better now. Imagine the Dafe away on one side, Darius Smith on the other. Oh, let's go. But then, that's when the burn came. And it was, it was like, initially it was a slow process. It was a slow burn. Keep it clean now. But it was a slow burn. Because first, Eric DaCosta put it out there. Oh, well, no. This, this press conference is just for Marcus Williams and for uh, Morgan Moses. It's, we're just focusing on these guys. And I was like, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Wait a minute, Eric. Wait a minute, Mr. Eric. Hold up now. We, uh, nah, we ain't falling for that one. And then it came out a couple hours later. Not, well, maybe not even a couple hours later, maybe like an hour later, that Zadarius Smith was like, nope, I changed my mind. So that hurt so many Ravens fans down to the core. That's why so many Ravens fans have already tried to jam it in their head. Even though in the back of their mind, they're like, we really want Bobby Wagner. But so many Ravens fans have put it in their head like, all right, we're not going to get Bobby Wagner. We're not going to get him because this is going to be one of those times where it's a deal that almost happens. They remember the, the DeAndre Hopkins. So many Ravens fans remember that when they bring it up every now and then. This is very painful. I told you that that's the one that hurt me the most because, oh, boy, that that. Mm -mm. All right, oh, boy. And that was right before the draft. And I, that was just so painful. And then I like I set myself up for even more pain because I fell in love with the potential of the Ravens getting a Jerry Judy or a Henry Ruggs or a C.D. Lamb. And I was thinking, oh, man, what if the Ravens get one of those guys? I know they probably won't, but I hope that they will. And they obviously didn't. But it just that was tough. Another one that fell through um, initially was Yannick Ngakwe. But another one that fell through that a lot of people forget about was Jamal Adams. Now, I know a lot of Ravens fans are probably like, oh, thank goodness that one fell through. But I, that one fell through as well. And then it was after that that the Ravens were like, all right, Chuck Clark, you're the guy. You're the guy. They tried to get Jamal Adams first. And then when that fell through, they were like, all right, Chuck Clark, you're going to be it. Then they ended up signing him to an extension. And he became their strong safety of the future and now, of course, of the present. So that's one that a lot of people don't talk about. But the Ravens, they just didn't want to give up as much as the, uh, the Jets wanted for Jamal Adams. Now, looking back, it's like, oh, but still. Um, and who knows how he would have been in the Ravens scheme. I think he would have been better than he was for the Seahawks, but that's something that we'll never know. But my point is there have been a lot of deals that just haven't came through. A lot of trades. We heard about the Ravens. They, they could have potentially got a... The cornerback, Xavier Howard. But they, they didn't want to give up whatever the Dolphins wanted. They didn't want to put themselves in a, in a crunchy cap situation as far as all of them corners. Me, the way I felt about it, I was like, hey, go for it. Should have went for it. And I was like, hey, get that now. Get that nice, dynamic, playmaking cornerback now. Because you're obviously missing Marcus Peters very badly. And then deal with the results later. Deal with next year, next year. That's how I looked at it. Because I'm like, me, I'm like, I'm always in win now mode. That's me though. But it was what it was. And then, of course, there have been so many other potential trades, potential signings, some almost things that just didn't happen. And Ravens fans just do not want to go through that all over again when it comes to Bobby Wagner. They don't. And I don't blame them. 
I, I can't blame anybody for feeling the way that they feel or trying to protect their feelings when it comes to the Ravens possibly acquiring this player, that player, that player. I don't blame them at all. That's why a lot of times when uh, we, we see these reports that, oh, Ravens are interested in this guy. Ravens are interested in that guy. I remember um, not even a couple months, about a month ago, because it was before free agency started, a little less than a month ago. Before free agency started, the Seahawks, they released Bobby Wagner. And actually, before they even released him, I remember we did a question from subscriber video talking about somebody asked the question, who are your dream free agents for the Ravens? And my answer to that, I said Bobby Wagner. I said because he has a high cap number, no guaranteed money. So if the Seahawks cut him, they're going to get a lot of cap space from that. And they apparently they look to be moving forward in a different direction anyway. So... You know, Ravens love the comp picks, even though this year they know they're not getting no comp picks for nobody. So they like whatever about them comp picks. So I was like, it, it would fit that. He would be a, a cap casualty. They wouldn't even have to wait to free agency. And boom, he ended up getting cut. He ended up getting cut. So I'm like, oh, okay, well, hey, let's get it. But then you, we heard the report that the Ravens are interested in Bobby Wagner. Now, back then, I was like, oh, okay, they're interested in Bobby Wagner. Uh, that's like obvious. Why wouldn't they be interested in a Bobby Wagner? Why wouldn't they? Who wouldn't be interested in Bobby Wagner? But I just, back then I was like, uh, I wasn't really getting my hopes up or anything like that. But like I said yesterday, I do think this is actually one that is going to happen. I think this is a deal that is going to get signed. Now, I know another thing that a lot of people have been talking about, which I can understand too. The report that came out yesterday about Bobby Wagner wanting a one-year, $11 million deal. And when a lot of people saw that, they were like, oh yeah, Ravens ain't doing that. Nope. Okay, he ain't coming to the Ravens. Now, while the Ravens would not do a one-year $11 million deal, because Ravens are not taking all of that on their cap for one Bobby Wagner. They're not going to do that. They're not. They could set the deal up to where they stretch it out to where it's a three-year deal and in the, the second or third year, option years, like they did with Brandon Carr, um, to where if when it gets to a certain point in the offseason – you have to either pick up that option or you decline it. If you decline it, then that person becomes a free agent. They could do something like that with Bobby Wagner, or they could do a two-year deal, stretch it out a little bit. They could do a two-year deal or a three-year deal to where it's a lot of guaranteed money up front, but sort of on the back end, it's not as much. Or you could flip it around to where it's not as much guaranteed. It's a backloaded deal to where more of the money comes at toward the end of the deal. So the Ravens... They're not going to pay him. A, they're not going to give him a one year, $11 million deal. They're not. They're just simply not. And that report possibly could have been put out by Bobby. Since, again, he is his own agent. So he could float that out there and be like, all right, let me see who bites. Let me see which one of these teams, if they're if they going to go for it. Even though he's been talking to both the teams or whatnot. He could have also been putting that report out, too, to put other teams on, too. To put other teams in his market. Because, apparently... Um, the teams that were the most interested in him are Ravens, Rams. There was some talk about Cowboys possibly being interested in him too. Um, but right now it's Ravens and Rams. So it seems to be the battle between those two. But he could have put it out there to be like, all right, I'm talking to these two teams right now, but I'm not really getting everything that I'm wanting from these two teams. So you know what? Let me see. If we put this report out there, if we leak this report that I'm asking for one year, 11 mil. Okay. Let's see if any other teams step up to that. Let's see if any other teams are willing to pay me either that or something around there. Because I'm sure like in sales, in sales and, and as your own agent, even if you have an agent, as your agent, or you have to sell your client. You have to sell your client to these teams. But if, if you're trying to get the most money for your client, you have to put it out there. You got to put a high offer out there. And then teams can look at that. They can be like, oh, he's a really good player, but uh, I don't want to sign. I don't want to pay that. But your whole goal could, could be like 9 or 10 mil. Even though you told him 11 mil. You like, hey, we want, I want my client to get a one-year $11 million deal. That's, that's where we starting at. And the team can be like, oh, we're interested, but we don't really want to. We don't feel comfortable paying him that much. What about, yeah, what about, mm, what about 9.5 mil? And all the meanwhile, your, your goal in the first place was about 10 mil. So getting 500,000 less than that on a one year deal, you won. You won. So that's a possibility when it comes to this whole Bobby Wagner thing. It, and it's, it's just a possibility. I'm not saying that is what it is, 
But that is business in the NFL. That's what happens. You pitch high. You got to start your pitch high. You can't be like, all right, man. I, you, if you want a, say for instance, you want a one-year $4.5 million deal. You don't go out there saying, oh, I want a $4.5 million deal for one year. You don't go out there saying that. No. You say, hey, I want a one-year $10 million deal. And then you let people come down from there. Because if you want a one-year uh, one $4.5 million deal, people aren't going to go up. They ain't going to go up. They're going to try to go down because they're going to try to get you for as cheap as possible. Unless you are in the prime of your career and you one of the most sought after free agents out there. Then it's a little different story. But in Bobby Wagner's situation, um, that could be what it is. So we'll keep waiting. We still on Bobby the Baltimore watch. We still going to uh, see if, if they end up closing this thing out, which I do think they will. I, I, I really do. Um, I said yesterday that I think a deal will be done uh, by Tuesday or the latest Wednesday. That's just me, though. Could be wrong. Could be right. But we'll see. Anyway, like Bobby Wagner hopefully doesn't tell the Ravens, I'm out.